All right, welcome friends, welcome friends. Now who said music theory was hard? Music theory can be fun, and of course this is the Easy Peasy Music Theory course for kids. I am Miss Christine, and we are learning so much. Are you ready to have some more fun with learning music theory? I bet you, let's get to it. to our next lesson. What are we talking about today? Well, we're going to talk about line notes on the treble clef. Line notes on the treble clef. Let's learn today. All right, so the question is, which is higher, which is lower? Hmm. Well, you should know from the last lesson, circle number one is, yes, higher, right? Because it's on the higher part of the staff. And circle number two is lower. Yes, lower, lower it is because it is on the lower part of the staff. So you're really learning so much. All right, let's move along. Now, do you remember, and I'm sure you do, we have our staff and we have our treble clef, right? So don't forget that because now we're gonna take all these little pieces sort of like a puzzle. And we're gonna take this piece like the treble clef and we're gonna take this staff and we're gonna do something. Hmm, what are we gonna do? Well, to read or write music, we need, what do we need? Okay, we need a music staff. Five lines, four spaces, you got it. And we need a clef. Well, you already know, AKA the G clef. Good job. And now we need notes. Now that's a new one. We never really talked about notes. Hmm, what in the world does that all mean? Well, let's learn some more. All right, so what are music notes? Well, notes are symbols used for musical sound. Okay, let me say that again. Notes are symbols used for musical sound. And below is a note on a staff. And I have a bonus question for you. Is this note low on the staff or high on the staff? What do you think? Low on the staff, it's in the first space, okay? So this is an example of a symbol, a note that we hear. And of course, we learned about pitch. So now we can, we can talk about sound and replace it for a pitch, right? So below you see a note on the staff, and this is a good visual idea of what we're talking about, okay? And here's our little spelling of pitch. All right, so now let's move along. Now, notes are also assigned a letter name from the music alphabet. Music alphabet, remember the music alphabet? C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. And then after C, we go back to D, E, et cetera, et cetera. All right, so those notes have a special letter, music alphabet letter to be exact. All right, so let's move along. Now, note names, Okay, so now we're going to talk about the note names. The name of a note will depend on the clef, okay? So don't get confused. This clef is very important. And yes, it's also known as a G clef. So this clef will tell us the name of the note. And you can kind of think of the clef like special rules, right? So if you were to go visit Knock Knock at the treble clef's door, and you're on the music staff, that little treble clef is gonna tell you what kind of pitch this particular note will sound like, and you already know, because it's kind of at the low part of the staff, it would be what kind of pitch? Low, you betcha. All right, but we'll be learning notes of the treble clef, so if we were at a different clef, things would be different. So let's learn about the treble clef and the line notes. So far, you know about the music staff and you know about notes. When placed on the staff, it indicates the pitch. And you also know, if we were to pretend that we were at 
a treble clef's house or whatever we want to make up that it sets the rules and that's really what the most important thing is the clef is going to tell us the pitch okay all right so now let's learn about line notes let me hear you say line notes good all right now notes are placed on the lines of the staff here is our music staff here is a note and it is on the line right and it is a high pitched note right and here is a note and here is the second line and it is on the line and it is a low pitch and if it's helpful you can pretend that your head is a note and your arms are a line and you are a line note okay <laughs> All right, but it's fun to have be silly too, right? So we are talking about a line note, and let's look. Oh yeah, show me your line note. Line note, my head is a note, and my arms are the line, and the line is going through the note like a robot. All right, okay, let's go on. All righty, so line notes, the line goes through the note. All right, and we were able to physically pretend we were a line note. Here is a note. The line is going through it, and we have a red line to really show you that the line has to go through the note for it to be what? A line note. And then let's give another example. Oh, here is a line note. The line is going through it. It's on the fourth line. All right, one more. Let's do this one. Oh, here is a note. The line is going through it. It's on the what? The second line, all right? And you get the idea, right? All right, so let's put this all together. We understand line notes. We understand pitch. But now we have to tell you a little bit more. So if I was to come over here, I want to make sure you can see it. And I think you can see it really well. Remember how we had to count the five lines? and we count from the bottom up. So we know that it's low, higher, and higher, and higher, and higher, and it gets higher and higher as we go up the staff. And so you have to remember that the lower we go on the staff, the lower the sound is, or the lower the what? The pitch, that's right. I wanted to make sure you had that music term. So the line notes of the treble clef, because this is our special clef here, and this person, if we were to pretend the clef was a person, which it's not, a, it's a symbol, tells us the pitch. And the treble clef is here, and he's letting us know, or she's letting us know, that this first note is note E. And you can think of E for every. And then, she, the treble clef is saying on the second line, the note will be G, G for good. And the treble clef is now telling us note three or note on the, this note on the third line to be clear. This note on the third line will be B for boy. And the treble clef is here telling us that this note on the fourth line is going to be note D. D for does and the treble clef remember the clef is our key player here it lets us know the pitch that the fifth line will be an F F for fine and it's really helpful if you can remember you can even make up your own sentence every good boy does fine or every good burger deserves fries whatever you want to remember as long as you remember E, G, B, D, and F. And as you can see, the notes are getting what? Higher, yes, the pitch. The pitch of each note is getting higher and higher and higher and higher. All right, so let's move along. Now, we talked about every good boy deserves fine or every good boy does fine excuse me and the pitch is going to get higher and it's also worth mentioning that as we count the lines up from the bottom up 
remember that it's going to get higher. So you have a low pitch and a high pitch. Now let's do some reviewing, okay? So let's have a little fun. We have to drag the notes to their proper place on the staff. We have a treble clef. As soon as you see the treble clef, you automatically have to say to yourself, what are the lines of the treble clef? Okay, I have an every, E, good, G, B, boy, does, D, fine. That's what I have to remember for those five lines. So now I have that in my brain, and now I'm going to do my review. So this first note would be E, E for every. It's on the first line. The pitch will be low. Oh, yeah, good work. And now the next note is on the second line. Second line was what? Every. Good, G. Excellent. So we have to put a G there. Oh. Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah, you got that correct. And now we're going to the third line. Every good boy. Yes, boy. So that note is B. B for boy. You see how this is making sense? The oh, cha-ching. Oh, I like money too. And the treble clef tells us. It kind of really guides us through everything for our music. We don't have to do a lot of guessing as long as we know those line notes, right, for the treble clef. Now we have every E, good, G, B, boy. What do we have here? D, does. That's right. We have to put a D there. Good work. Good work. You're absolutely correct. All right. You're absolutely correct. So our last one, every good boy does. Ding, ding, ding. Fine. You are fantastic. Yahoo! Whoa. Yahoo. Keep it going. I love it. All right. So now that you know the line notes of the treble clef, you know what to do for homework, all right? So let's talk about what did you learn today? Well, in order to read or write music, you know that you need a staff and you need a clef and of course you need notes. And you already know what to do when you have a staff, a clef and notes. And then you were able to take those notes and assign a letter name from the music alphabet, right? And we have an E in our music alphabet, a G, a B, and a D, and an F. Look at that, and look at the music alphabet. E, G, B, D, and F. Now, we'll talk more about why you, why you might be missing, you know, the letter F and, you know, the A, but we'll talk about that in the next lesson because we're just dealing with line notes of the treble clef. All right, and then we have notes are placed on the lines of the staff. Remember that line note, right? All right, because the line is going what? Through the note. The note, uh, the line is going through the note, okay? So that's how we know that it's a line note. That's very important. And then finally, the line notes of the treble clef are E, G, B, D and F. And the way to remember it, you can make up your own sentence or you can use my sentence. Every good boy does fine. All right, good work. And let's talk about the homework so you know what to do. And so your job is to walk the line and you should know how to walk the line really easily. So we have our treble clef. Remember your treble clef is going to tell you your pitch. It's going to help you figure out those line notes. And you have to answer the uh, question and tell me what is the letter name, okay? It's on the fourth line. So every good boy does. So that would be a D. And so the first one has been done for you and your job is to complete the rest of the homework assignment. I hope you had a great time learning. We talked about the line notes of the treble clef, and I'll see you in the next lesson.